Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and in this video I wanted to show you the auto launch feature, which is a way of you being able to launch your uh, server and a bunch of clients without having to uh, run them individually. So if you search for auto launch, you'll find that there is an auto launcher uh, scene here. And if you open that up, there's an auto start object, and it has a auto start script attached to it. So uh, this this is uh, fairly straightforward. First, you want to open up your build settings, and yours would probably be blank. You're going to add the auto launcher, and then you're going to add the scene you want to test. So I'm going to test Forge Hello Cube Resources, and so right here in the scene name, I have Forge Hello Cube Resources. Uh, so that's where you would put your scene name. I have um, my player count and the port and the, all that kind of stuff set up here as well. Uh, and I've, I have the proximity distance if you want to test that out. So here you can select your build. So we're going to select Windows. And uh, now that we have this, we're just going to hit Compile and Run. And it's going to ask you for a folder. So I created an auto start folder and select that folder. And what it's going to do is it's going to build out the executable and then it's going to play the player inside of the editor. It's going to load the scene and then it's going to launch the number of clients you told it to launch at, a, uh, at an interval so that it doesn't launch them all at once and uh, crash your machine from having a million things launch at once. So there we go. We have all our players that just loaded into the scene uh, with our uh, quick our resources scene. So that's basically it and that's all you have to do to get the auto launcher working for your game. So if you have any questions please let me know and uh, I guess I will talk to you next time.